Welcome back everyone to episode 14 of my survival Minecraft Let's Play series. And in today's video, we're going to be making some friends. And I'm talking about some axolotl friends. Now, if you're new to my channel and you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe as it's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Also, if you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. But before we make our new friends, I'm going to show you what happened in the time lapse. So we have this nice tree out here that I think kind of complements the scenery. And then I decided to make like a nice little pond. And I added some fish in here with some names, you know, just random fish names. So it's a nice little scenic area. And then I kind of closed off this crane area to make sure it doesn't hit anyone. You know, we don't want this crane hitting anyone. I don't, I don't have any, I don't have any insurance for that. Okay. So we, we can't pay for that. So we made sure to, to block it off. And I think it looks really nice. We got some fences with some moss and azalea leaves. And I think it looks really nice. It really outlines the area and it just makes it feel like lived in and worked in. So that is pretty awesome. And then I also changed the glass to fence posts. And I think it looks, it fits in better with this. And I think it overall just looks better with the theme because they did not have glass, you know, in medieval. Well, they had glass, but they weren't using it for windows. They'd rather just use like fence posts and it looks better that way. So let's get started on making some friends so i want to make some friends you know the axolotl type and i also want to plan out the city by using some wool to to represent where i want to place some buildings and to do that we're also going to need to make a wool farm so we'll end up doing that but right now i gotta go to sleep all right it's a brand new morning and let's get started on making some new friends so i think we're gonna make a little pond underneath the ground because I think that's how axolotls spawn if I'm not incorrect I don't know but I know they spawn in water and I know they spawn underground I'm pretty sure so that would be a good starting point now I want to make a nice big underground area in my industrial area because I kind of want to keep it out of sight because I don't think it's going to look super nice but if we come down here we make an area in this direction and a little farther down, make a big pond, and then hopefully let's see if some axolotls spawn. So let's clear out a nice big area where we can spawn our axolotls. All right, now the room is finished and we gotta fill it up with water so the axolotls can spawn. And so I have a fake layer right here and then we'll drop it down and it'll all be source blocks if I just fill the top layer and then break these blocks so let's do that quickly you can take a bucket of water put it in the corner and then I have a source over here I can go get there we go and then we come back into the room and we can just fill this place up with water so just constantly do this there we go Keep on filling it up. And I think the whole room is now complete. Filled in with water. There we go. Completely filled in with water. All right. Now what we can do is we can just remove this ground. And it will fill in the whole uh, underside of this. Okay. So now we have completely filled this place in. And all we got to do is we're going to add a door right here. That way if any mobs spawn... And then place this block here. Hopefully, does that block some light? Nah, it doesn't really block any light. But it's dark enough in the corners that some axolotls and I think glow squids will actually spawn here too. But yeah, we'll keep that door here just in case. I think drowns can also spawn here though, which would not be nice. But yeah, we're gonna AFK for a few minutes and see if we got any axolotls in here that we can scoop up and make our friends. All right, it's been a few minutes now, maybe three minutes or so. Let's see if we got any friends in here. Um, oh, wait. Yo, okay. Oh, wait, there was a glow squid, and I think the axolotl killed it. Okay, we got a brown axolotl. I don't have a bucket on. Oh, I, I do have a bucket on. Uh, fill it up with water. Okay. Oh, there we go, the cutest predator. Oh, wait, is that an, that's another one. That's another brown one. Okay, so we got a brown one if I just do that. Yep. Brown axolotl. So I want to get every single 
type of axolotl, including the blue one. So, um, I'm gonna go get some more buckets, AFK here for a little bit, and see if we can get some more different colored axolotls. Okay, so I got 16 more buckets, and we'll see. Oh my goodness, this place is swarming with axolotls right now. Uh, let me get a pink one. Oh wait, I gotta use the water, the one with the water in it. There we go. Boom. We got, I think this is like a pink one. We'll just get this guy, also pink, but we'll take him. Come on, there we go. So we got, oh, it doesn't tell me which one I have. That's all right. Fill up some, oh, wait. Oh, I don't, the water's fill back in. I'll fix that later. Okay. Um, we already have a brown one. Um, let me see, is there any yellow ones in here? No, I think there's only brown and white currently. So yeah. Oh, let me fix that too. All right, and I'll see you guys when I have a few more axolotls. Oh, it's a yellow one. Okay, let's get him. Whoops. There we go, we got a yellow axolotl. Um, I I don't have a white one yet. Can we, can we get mini ones, the small ones? Um, the baby ones? Oh, yes, we can. We can get baby ones. Sweet. Okay, so we got a white one. We have every single color, I think, except for the blue one. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it, but I'm going to try. I'll, I'll do my best, okay? So I'll see you guys if I see a blue axolotl. And if not, we'll get started on the sheep farm. All right, unfortunately, I did not get the blue axolotl, but I ended up getting a ton of axolotls. As you can see, we have a ton in our inventory in this shulker box full of axolotls. So, I mean, we have a lot of axolotls. Now, I think next episode, I wanna make a huge lake or some sort of pond thing that we can place all these axolotls in and we'll call it like axolotl lake or something. And it can be a, like a, a piece or a part of our custom village, maybe on the edge and we build like a, like a dam or something to create electricity or power for something for us or, something like that for the village and kind of incorporate it into the, the story of our village. But I think these axolotls will be super awesome. And I think my favorite one out of all of them is obviously, I mean, everyone likes the super rare one, but I think I like the white slash pink one, the one in the bucket here, you see kind of white and pink a little bit. That, I think that one's my favorite one of the normal ones, but I actually really like the rare one, the blue one because my channel colors are actually blue and orange. And yeah, so that'd be super awesome if we could get him. He'll be the mascot of our of our channel in Minecraft, kind of our little axolotl mascot. But now I think we're gonna get ready to build the sheep farm and get a ton of wool. So let's get into a time-lapse. So I finished the sheep farm and let's go check it out. Now, before we do that, you may see that I only have eight levels and that's because I died. Um, I was AFKing over at the copper farm while I was trying to get some wool. So yeah, I ended up dying due to a drowned or something. I'm not really sure. I think that's what happened. But anyways, yeah, I lost all my levels. But luckily I put my stuff in a chest and I ended up having a hopper beneath me because I knew that if I died, my sword would drop. So luckily my sword dropped into the hopper I placed below me and it got saved. So that was, uh, yeah, that was really good. Otherwise I would have to get this sword again and I'm not sure I want to do that. I mean, it looks pretty hard to get, you know? Anyways, let's check out the sheep farm. And this is a design by Shulkercraft. And then I added my own little twist by adding like a little rainbow keyboard type thing. It kind of looks like a keyboard, you know, these all look like keys and yeah, it's a little rainbow. So pretty sweet. But 
something weird was kind of happening so in these chests that kind of stick out like these modules will have like a stack and a bit of wool but then in this one we only have like 11 so I'm not really sure what happened there so i ended up doing this i added grass in the back so maybe this grass right here can spread through the block and hopefully make the grass spread so that sheep can eat earlier and uh yeah we can harvest more wool from it so let's patch this back up but anyways that's about it for the sheep farm but there's one more thing i kind of want to talk about this wall right here of glass i think this really opens up the area and it confines this to its own space and confines this to its own space but it, it allows for some openness and you can kind of see through it so i really like that but anyways let's gather up this wool and start planning out our custom village up there all right we're up at the village and let's use this wool to start planning out how we want to build our custom village all right so i finished the outline for my custom village and it's not going to be a hundred percent of what i'm doing but it's just going to give me a little rough outline of what i want to do so first over here this big blue circle you know how i was talking about lake axolotl i want that to be where we keep all our axolotls and it's going to be called lake axolotl so i think that'll be really cool then i kind of wanted to add this path this in the white right here and then these are just a few buildings that's not going to be their exact size i just kind of put a marker down like hey just put a house here put a house here maybe put one there over there and then same over here you kind of see these orange and magentas and then this cyan around this whole area is going to be the wall so i want to add like a wall with some gates in it and yeah so it'll have a gate over there i think i want to have a gate over there one over here and maybe one on this side but yeah and maybe one over there maybe we have two gates there because that's where my base is and then that's where Aaron's house is so yeah we'll have some different gates around here and then this little blue area over here I want to make like a huge town center or a town square and I think that'll look really cool so we have a bunch of buildings outlining it you know and I think it would look really awesome there and then we got our quarry over here maybe add another building over here and then i kind of want that area to be like agriculture so i'm going to try and convert that villager trading hall into some sort of barn type structure i'm not sure and then have some fields over here maybe even a windmill and you know just some different stuff over here and then yeah i think that's all though i think that's mostly what i want to do i mean yeah, you can kind of see some of these boxes are where the houses are going to be. Cyan is the wall. I covered the lake. And this is a little path I want to add in. So, yeah, I think that's mostly it. And then uh, the paths that we currently have here, I feel like that's pretty good. You know, keep this the town center and then have some streets going this way, streets going this way, you know, just kind of stuff like that. But anyways... That's all I have for today's episode. I know it's probably going to be shorter than expected, and I know it's coming out late as I'm recording this after I was meant to post it, which I like to post a week after I posted the previous video. But you'll see why I was recording another video, and it can't be released yet until a certain date, and I'll post it when I'm able to. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're new to my channel, I'd very much appreciate it if you'd subscribe. And if you end up enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like. I've been your host, Brendominus Rex, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!